For the past 10 months, Cheryl Douglas has been learning how to walk again. I was nine weeks in ICU for a strep blood infection, which um, in order to save the body, the extremities shriveled up basically. Doctors amputated all four of her limbs. Now she uses prosthetics to move her arms and legs. But a new device could change the way amputees like Douglas get around. The chariot is a hands-free, self-balancing cocoon that is worn, uh, not driven, but rather worn uh, in the bottom half of the body and suitable for people who have either spinal damages, spinal damage or who are amputees. Biomedical engineering company X Moveray Holdings has unveiled a prototype of the chariot. From dance moves to day-to-day -day activities, the chariot moves by responding to shifts in the torso. The battery-powered prototype can go up to 12 miles per hour and tackle any terrain that's wheelchair accessible. Ian Harrington invented the chariot. He says it provides better sort of quality day-to-day -day life for perhaps people who, you know, would want to have a, a much more sort of eye-to-eye -eye interface, you know, such as we're having now, um, as against you know, perhaps an individual who previously might have been uh, using a wheelchair. When he's in it, you can't tell if he's an amputee or not, which is what's exciting about it from a psychological perspective. How are you? Company executives say the final version will allow people to get into the device from a seated position. But some medical professionals say the chariot may not be ideal for amputees. It does the exact opposite of what we try to do. What we're trying to do is promote activity, exercise, function, whereas the chariot would kind of pacify that. Right now, the cost of building one chariot is $35,000. Ex Movere hopes to bring that price down to between $1,500 and $2,500. Douglas says she'd consider buying one. If it became affordable, because I'm not, quite honestly, it probably would not be covered by health insurance. In fact, I'm having trouble right now getting my prosthetics covered by health insurance. In the meantime, the company hopes this mobile mover can be practical, not just for those with physical challenges, but also for some professionals, such as law enforcement officers. For UPI.com, I'm Melissa Hinkle.